Hello everyone, welcome to the 11th lecture of this video series. So in this video, we will solve some problems. So the first problem of today is here. This problem appeared in CHAM exam of 2016 and the problem states that the PV diagram below shows three possible paths for an ideal gas to reach the final state F from an initial state I. So this is the initial state here and this is the final state here. Final and this is initial. So the question is which among the following statements is or are true. So this is an MSQ problem. And I think this is the first MSQ that we are doing in this series. So we'll see which of the four options are correct. Just let me go through the options one time. So the first option is the work done by the gases maximum along path three. The minimum change in internal energy occurs along path 2, maximum heat transfer is for path 1 or option number D is heat transfer is path independent. Okay, so let us start with the problem. So we will go through the options one by one and we will see if that is true or not. So in the question you have to see which of the options are correct. So the MSQ questions can be very tricky. They will often ask you which are not correct. So you have to you know, be very, very careful about the language. But here we have to see which ones are correct. Okay. So option one is option A rather. is the work done by the gas is maximum along path 3. So let me write the option. along path 3. So what do you know about work done? You know that work done is given by PDV and it is from initial to final state. So here the process which is going through path 3 is a very ambiguous one because we do not know the equation PV equations for these processes are not known. So we have to proceed with that and by equations I mean that P is not known as a function of V in this case. So let us start from this integration and see how we can gather the necessary information. So this is our diagram from I to F and this is the integration which will give us the work done. To write the dependency of pressure with volume we can write it like this and let us ask ourselves the question what this integration actually means. This can be seen when we write it in the form of summation of PV sum delta V. So what do I mean by that? I have written it. Let me put it like that. PI dVI 
I have written the integration as a summation because we know integration is nothing but summation of infinitely small elements. So what this summation means? This summation means that the small elements here which have very small width let's say delta vi times the pressure at that point which is supposed to be constant because the elements delta vi that we are taking are very very small so that is how the integration works and this summation will actually give us the area under the curve we have also learned about it when we are doing the work done calculation in the ninth lecture so the work done is given by area under the curve in PV diagram. So, in this dummy diagram here, this whole thing will be the area under the curve. So, if we look at the processes here, 1, 2, and 3, we can find which one will have the highest work done. So, let us start one by one. This is process number 1, PV from I to F, this is like, this is like this. So, what will be the area under the curve? This will be this region. For process 2, this is just a straight line and this will be the area under the curve, the shaded region. And for process 3, the curve is like this and the shaded region will give the work done. So, as we can easily see that area 1 is smaller than area 2 and area 2 and 1 both are smaller than area of the third curve. So, from this we can easily infer that area under the curve in process 3 is largest. So, the work done in process 3 is highest. So, let me put a box around this statement. Okay, so we can see that the option A, which was stating that the work done by the gas is maximum along path 3, is actually correct. So, this is correct statement A. So, in the options, we will have that the option A is a correct one. Now, let us go and see the second option, which states that minimum change in internal energy occurs on path 2. So, the second option is option B 
which states minimum change in internal energy is along path 2. So again, like we discussed in the lecture number 9, delta u is change in internal energy and this is a state function. What does that mean? That means that delta u will be dependent only upon the final and the initial state. So, it will be independent of the path. So, for our case, where the system is going from initial to final I to F state, and following three different paths, but for each path, the change in internal energy can be denoted with uif, where ui delta uif is given by uf minus ui. So Again, let me put a box around this statement. So, this basically tells that internal energy change is same for all the paths. So, let me use a different color. The statement in option B is not correct. So, let us go back to the problem once again and we will see that B is not correct. So, now let us go to the option number C which is the third option and it states that maximum heat transfer is for path 1. So, let us see if that is correct or not. Option C states that max heat transfer is for path 1. So, again from the first law of thermodynamics, we know that delta Q is equal to delta U plus delta W, where delta Q is the heat transferred, delta U is the change in 
internal energy and delta w is work done so we have to calculate what is the heat transferred for all the paths so let us write them delta q for path 1 will be delta u1 plus delta w1 delta q for path 2 will be delta u2 plus delta w2 and delta q for path 3 will be delta u3 plus delta w3 now here let me name them 1 2 and 3 now here we can use the fact that we obtained from option a and option b so let me explicitly write it for option a that delta w1 is smaller than delta w2 and both of them are smaller than delta w3 so we can use this one which we obtained from option a and we can also use this one which we obtained from option b in these equations so using results from option a and b we can write these three as delta q1 equal to delta u if plus delta w1 delta q2 is equal to delta u if plus delta w2 delta q3 is equal to delta u if plus delta w3 and as delta w1 is less than delta w2 less than delta w3 we will also obtain from this set of equations and this inequality we will obtain that delta q1 is less than delta q2 and less than delta q3 so let me put an box around this also okay so what does this statement say that heat transferred is minimum for path 1 and maximum for path 3 so again the claim which was max heat transfer is for path 1 is wrong this is the minimum heat transfer which is true for path 1 so the option c is not correct so we have 
C is also not correct. Now let us go to the last option which says that heat transfer is path independent. So option 4 is that heat transfer is path independent again here also we can just use this result which we obtained for option c and it is evident from here that heat transfer is not part independent rather it is very much path dependent and for path one heat transfer is minimum and for path three it is maximum so this statement is also not true so we will have that option d is also not correct so the correct answer for this MCQ will be just option A. Okay, so this is the first problem. Here we used the fact that work done can be calculated as the area under the curve in a PV diagram, and from that we also inferred whether some statements are true or not from this PV diagram. So this is problem number one, and now we will do problem 2 ok ok so welcome to the second problem of today's video and this problem was also from a jam exam it was given in jam 2018 so the problem states that the equation of state for one mole of a non-ideal gas is given by PV equation here this is a non-ideal gas and the equation of state is given by PV equal to A times plus B over V where the coefficients A and V are temperature dependent now if the volume changes from V1 to V2 in an isothermal process, the work done by the gases. So let us begin with this problem. This problem is a very interesting one. So here we will also learn about how to deal with non-ideal gases which have a different equation of state. We know that PV equal to NRT is the equation of state for ideal gases only but for non-ideal gases this equation will be different and this is one of the example of such equation so by working out this problem we will learn how to calculate the work done for this kind of gases also so now we have to calculate work done in an isothermal process which means T is constant it is zero where a non-ideal gas goes from volume V1 to volume V2 and the equation of state of the gas is given by PV equal to A times 1 plus B over V. Now here it is important 
to see that A and B, these are both temperature dependent. So that's where the temperature dependency comes in this equation of state. So let me put a box around this equation. Okay. So from here, temperature dependency comes. Okay. Now we know that the work done in any process can be given by the integration of PDV from the initial to final state. So let me write it clearly for our case. Delta W will be integration from initial to final state of P, which is a function of V over dV. And here, initial state is given by V1 volume and the final state is given by V2 volume. So basically we can write this integration is V1 to V2 dV dV. Now we know that V times V is A1 plus V over V. So from this equation we can obtain P as a function of V as a 1 over v plus v over v square. So this equation is very important because we will use this in this integration to obtain the work done. So let me put a box around this equation. Okay. So now let us put this say equation number one in the expression of the integration of work done. So delta W will be integration of V1 to V2 A times 1 over V plus V by V square dV. And we can take out A as a constant and there will be two integration v1 to v2 dv by v plus v as constant v1 to v2 dv by v square this will be a times ln v v1 to v2 minus d 1 over v v1 to v2 and these are very simple integration which is dv over v is nothing but ln v plus c and integration of 1 by v square dv is minus 1 by v plus c where c are the integration constant so I have just used this form. So now let us write it in a compact way. So delta W, the work done will be A times ln V2 over V1 plus, sorry, there will be a term because A was multiplied to both the integration. So it will be plus a b times 1 by v1 minus 1 by v2. 
so the negative term here will be taken care by the fact that 1 by v1 is appearing on the first term okay so this is our answer for the over term so let me put a box around the answer okay so let us check the options which are given option a is a b times 1 by v1 minus 1 by v2 option c is a ln v2 by v1 plus a b 1 by v1 minus 1 by v2 option b is a b ln v2 over v1 and option d is a ln v2 minus v1 all over v1 plus b and we can easily see that option c is the one which resembles our answer so the option c is the correct answer in this case okay so in this problem we learned how to calculate the work done for a non-ideal gas where the equation of state is given specifically the pressure as a function of the volume is given which is important in this case so from that we can calculate the work done by taking this integration from initial to final state the integration of pdv and that will give the work done okay so this was problem two okay so welcome to the third problem of the 11th video now i have already recorded this video but i found that the audio was not recorded so anyway the problem is worked out here but i will just quickly talk about how we obtained the answers so this problem is from jam geophysics exam of 2007 where the problem states that in the pv diagram shown in the figure which is this one and the vertical axis is p and the horizontal axis is v the work done by the system of gases along the path acb which is the bottom path and the four options are smaller than the work done along adb greater than the work done along adb equal to the work done along adb or equal to the work done along bca so we have to consider what is the work done along the path acp and we have to compare it with the work done along path adp so here i have just drawn the same thing and in the last option you will see that they have also asked to compare with the work done along bca which is the opposite path of acb okay so this is another msq type of question so here we have considered all the options one by one so the first option is the work done along adb is greater than the work done along acb so we will see the options a b and c later because they all have to do with comparing with adb and acb part uh, acp paths but let us first calculate what is the work done along path VCA, which is the option number T? Okay, so here we have to compare the work done along path ACB with the work done along path VCA. Okay, so here in this PV diagram, we will see that ACB is this path, and the VCA then will be just the opposite path b c a and as you know the work done in a pv diagram is given by just the area under the curve so for the acb path the work done will be given by this area under the curve let us call it o o prime these points change the colors these points are O and O prime. So the work done is A under the curve O A B O prime. Okay, or O A C B O prime. Then what will be the area under the curve B C A? 
this will just be the negative of what was the work done under the curve or area under the curve ACP. Okay, so we see that if the area under the curve ACP is delta W, then the area under the curve or work done in the path BCA will just be minus delta W. So this work done under ACP and BCA will only be equal when this will only occur when delta W is 0 but clearly here delta W is not equal to 0 so infer that the option D is wrong now let us check the option A, B and C where we have to compare the work done along ADB with the work done along the path ACB. Again, we will compare the work done by calculating the area under the curve. So, here I have plotted the ACB path. This is A, C, B. So, the work done is given by the area under the curve here this red shaded region and adb is this path and work done is given by this green shaded region this is p and this is v and we can clearly see that the area under this shaded region of red color is smaller than the area under this green shaded region so we have written that a adb is greater than a acb where a is the area under the curve so this fact is also evident from the original diagram where we can see that the difference in the area under the curve adb and acp is given by the area of this shape so now that we have established the fact that area under the curve ADB is greater than area under the curve of ACB, then the work done along the path ADB is also greater than work done along the path ACB. So we find that delta W ADB is greater than delta W ACB. So B and C options are wrong and option A is the correct one which states that delta W ACB is smaller than delta W ADB which is the option that we obtained here. So only option A is correct for this problem. Okay. So by and in the next video we will do one subjective problem and after that we will move to learn about Carnot engine.